Hello YouTube. I'm going to make a pretty quick video here on the Windows Vista or sorry, Windows 7 build 6956 and build 7000 boot screen compared to 6801. Now, this is my ThinkPad IBM Lenovo ThinkPad Z61T. It's a 9442 series, 2 gig of RAM. Uh, 4 gigahertz combined cores, 100 gig, 70, 7200 RPM hard disk. It's a fairly high-end machine. Um, DVD burner. It's got the fingerprint reader and the webcam. and It's got all that fun stuff on it. So let's put it up here <coughs> and compare the boot screens. We're going to start out with 6801. Now, I know the topic of comparing Windows alphas and betas of Windows 7 boot screen sounds pretty stupid but they've, re they've really changed it throughout build 6801, 6956, and 7000. Um, those are the three Windows um, 7 builds I have. Just a moment please. While I authenticate that in the BIOS. So, you're going to see my bootloader here, which I customized with software called EasyBCD. Great software, I recommend it. Go Google it. That's EasyBCD. So, you can see I've got Windows 7 6801. Let me move that down. Windows 7 6956, and Microsoft Windows Vista 6001 with Service Pack 1. So, that's. Uh, Vista Ultimate 32, 7 Ultimate 32, and 7 Ultimate 32, 6801, 6956. So we'll start out with 6801. Nice and easy there. It says starting windows, three dots, and then eventually this kind of fades in and goes around several times. Nice mirror effect under it. I like that. Down at the bottom it does say Microsoft Corporation. It is centered. Looks nice on the 14.1 inch high def 1280 by 800 display on my ThinkPad. It boots fairly quickly, a lot better than Vista would. Same thing from Vista there, and then we've got pretty much the same welcome screen, but they, I think that they did change the picture. Down at the bottom we've got the Windows flag and then Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, this user on the left, they're in the red, that's my fingerprint reader. I can log in with that or then I can go ahead and do that and use my password. For the sake of time and putting the camera down, I'll just swipe my finger. Succeeded. Welcome. So here we are within Windows Vista, or sorry, I keep doing that, Windows 7 build 6801. Now I've done multiple reviews of this operating system on my channel, so if you'd like to know more about this, this does have the arrow um, super bar enabled, and I really, really love this operating system. Um, please check out my channel for more on that. Right now we're going to restart and then boot into 6956, which is essentially the same as, as um, at least the boot screen as Windows 7 7000, build 7000. So shouldn't take too long to shut down here. I just did, just before I shut this down, as you probably saw on camera, I was installing a couple updates so it may take a couple seconds to shut down and I do have a couple things that I set to run when it shuts down so don't expect fast shutdown time. Um, I may have to edit this part out some software but it's pretty much the same shutting down as Windows Vista it's got that little turning it's got a name in place of the cursor remember the uh, little hourglass from XP in 2000. It's got that, and then it did say Windows 7 down at the bottom of the monitor. So, we should have BIOS there. ThinkPad BIOS, Tall Centrino Duo, product of Lenovo. Little blinking cursor, and then we will select 6956. Now, you can see down at the bottom, kind of, bottom three-fourths, it says starting Windows. Now I'm going to keep my camera there so you can see the actual animation that Windows used there. <coughs> Excuse me. There's actually no progress bar or anything like that. Like almost every single version of Windows with a good GUI or a GUI graphics user interface is had. Still says Microsoft Corporation and it did say starting Windows about three-fourths down. Um, in all, very nice boot screen. I think it does 
might it may boot faster a little bit faster than um, the other build did now as you see they I believe they did away with the uh, Vista orb there or the seven orb I suppose we could call it now with the colors coming out of it but the sound still does play and I don't have my fingerprint reader set up on this machine so if you'll excuse me for a second I'm going to have to type that in there we go same desktop background and we are using less RAM over here because I don't have all the Think Vantage crap installed so build was a 6956 isn't much different than 6801 with the super bar enabled um, but both builds are very very nice I just don't use this because I can't activate it if I could activate it I'd use it because it's got a cooler boot screen but as far as Windows activation goes I really don't feel like installing it every 30 days um, just for the fun of it we will go back and boot some old technology here so we'll boot Vista just take a look at that if you don't want to watch that that's cool just hit the back button on the keyboard so thanks for watching up until this point but we will boot Windows Vista now um, build 6001 and then if one of these looks familiar to you it's another ThinkPad. This would be the T42. It's not the T42P, and to tell you the truth, I don't know what the difference is. Um, but this has half a gig of RAM, and it's, all in all, really not that bad of a machine. So let's select Vista. Back over here, IBM BIOS, 1.73 gigahertz Pentium M. I believe it's a 740. We've got Windows XP Pro Service Pack. No. Sorry, Windows XP MCE or Media Center Edition, Service Pack 3 installed. And for a 40 gig hard drive, 5400 RPM, half a gig of DDR1 RAM, and 1.73 gigahertz Pentium M, it's a fast computer. It doesn't have the webcam, doesn't have the fingerprint reader. It does have the shock protective hard drive um, along with this machine. So I can log in. Fingerprint here. Succeeded. Take me right to my desktop here. That was pretty quick. Put that down. There we go. Remember the follow background? Almost dumb fish. One thing that I would note about this computer, it doesn't have the Windows key, which is really obnoxious if you want to get that, because it's not there. This one does right there. And it's got the keyboard light, too. If you hit functions page up, that little light comes on. And, and this light, you can't, probably can't even see it on the keyboard, but it is indeed on. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I plugged my, or my family's, Sony Bravia XBR 52 inch. We just got that yesterday. I plugged that in to, I put my router, got a Belkin N router there with the blue lights on it, and the modem. I plugged that into the TV there. Sorry, we're getting off topic, but I plugged that in the TV and Windows Vista actually found it, which is very cool. So anyways, Windows Vista should look pretty familiar to you. I don't think there's any need to go over things in here. Um, please comment. Please subscribe, obviously. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, drop me a line anyhow. Anyhow you want. So it's about 12 in the morning, so I will video at you later I suppose so thanks for watching